Today we're going to take a look at how you can use a live. The simplest way to get started is to run a live on a static method. If the method accepts parameters, you'll have to provide them. Currently, a live only accepts primitive types such as strings and integers when running static methods directly. Once a live is running, we can explore the data that our code is manipulating. A live acts almost like a live REPL, reacting to the changes as we make them. However, once you start using it, you'll realize this idea is a lot more powerful than a REPL. If we build a recursive method, we can iterate through each level of recursion and see exactly what's going on at different points in time. This is pretty cool, but somewhat limited. Most of our code depends on proper state. We'll take a look at how a live works on a real world project like Nancy. To start, we'd have to discover the relationships between tests and the methods they invoke. We do this by clicking Discover Tests. Once the mapping is complete, we can begin exploring and running code. We simply click a method and then select a test to run against it. This allows us to see exactly what each test is doing and allows us to better understand the impacts of any changes we might make. Today, Alive supports MS Test, XUnit, and NUnit. If you'd like to follow Alive's development, we've opened a public issue tracker where we're accepting bug reports and feature requests. We'd love to get your feedback on what you love about Alive and what still needs work. Thanks for your support.